Hi there. We are going to cover the adding a third person weapon to a UFPS character. So to start, I'm going to go and use the demo scene three, which I have open. I found the demo object and disabled it. I'm going to use the uh, hero character that comes with UFPS. Uh, so you'll probably be using your own character. Um, for this video, I've went ahead, I went ahead and added five M16 which has a first person weapon prefab, but I do not have a third person uh, weapon added yet. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is on your body, which is the skeleton, you're gonna to want to expand this out, follow it the hierarchy down until you get to the right hand. You're gonna create an empty game object, which we already have here, and you're gonna name it weapons. So I've got the weapons game object here. Um, so since we already have this, we don't need to follow that step. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna add another empty game object to your weapons. And I'm gonna call this the same as my weapon. Since my weapon is called 5M16, I'm gonna call this 5M16. I'm gonna add my uh, mesh components, my mesh filter, and my mesh renderer. Um, for the uh, filter, I'm going to actually use um, this assault rifle right here since that's what I'm adding. And for this uh, material, I am going to add this assault rifle material. So you'll see here that it has added the weapon. You're going to want to make sure that the transform of this is set to zero zero and it's zeroed out. So you can either reset it um, or if you follow the steps that I did it'll actually um, it'll actually set it up zeroed out. Uh, so in order to be able to see this during, um, in game mode, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll up to your hero and you can either disable the VP player inventory or you can do what I did here and you can add the weapon. So what I did was I added my assault rifle and I just added... Um, I just added 300 bullets um, and the reason I did the assault rifle is because over here on my identifier it's an assault rifle. So now when we hit play we will see um, so I'm going to hit the I'm going to cycle to my weapon which I hit the Q I'm going to hit the letter V as in victory and so what we see is we see the weapon which it's in the hand but it's kind of pointing in the wrong direction the scale is off I and mean, if we walk over here and pick up the uh, machine gun we'll see we can even still see the weapon pointing the wrong way so we want to go through and fix that uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to disable all the weapons that we're not working with so this way we won't have this uh, jumbled mess that we uh, can it's blocking our view. And also I'm not in play mode. So if I go to the uh, uh, the actual third person weapon, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale since it's too big. I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, 0.7 all the way around. So you'll see the uh, size is a little bit better. Uh, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rotate it. So you can kind of play with these and you'll see that um, you know you can rotate your weapon the way you want. So I'm going to put this point to 175.8, 332 and then I'm going to move the position um, because what we want is we want it to be right in the hand 
So 0 0.08, negative 0 0.01, and negative 0.29. And if we look at it, it's more in line with the palm of the hand. So it's a lot, it's a lot closer there and the palm of the hand and it kind of you know looks like he's holding the weapon. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually assign this third person weapon to our M16. So if we go over here to the rendering this third person weapon game object we're going to just drag it right into the spot. And so while we are actually selected on our particular weapon and we're on the VPFP weapon script, I'm going to go ahead and open up this animation fold out. And I don't want a one-handed weapon. I'm actually going to change it to a two-handed heavy weapon. So that way they use two hands when they fire the weapon. Uh, you'll see there's other options here. There's melee thrown, but we're using a firearm. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test the weapon out. So if I hit Q, go to V, we'll see that the weapon is now two hands. So if we see if we fire it, it kind of fires, uh, muzzle flash is off a little bit, and the um, uh, the shells are ejecting in uh, a little bit of the wrong place, so we're going to fix that next. All right, so I stopped the game. Um, over here, we're going to find, so we're going to scroll back down to our uh, entire skeleton, the hierarchy, down to where the uh, 5M16 is, and I'm going to create another empty child. So I'm going to go create empty child, and I'm going to call this one muzzle. And what you're going to want to do on the muzzle is you're going to want to actually position it where it is at the end of the muzzle. So you'll see we can manually drag it, kind of put it where it's in a good position where we want it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it at 0 0.165 because that's about in the center and then point seven three and you'll see that's a good spot for the muzzle flash that'll be right out in front of the uh, weapon uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, select the 5m16 we're going to create another empty child and we're going to call this one shell and we're actually going to position this one where we want the shell to eject from the weapon. So you're going to want to drag it, uh, move it around. Um, I'm actually going to put it at 0 0.02, 0.165, and negative 0 0.09. And then you'll see if we look at the uh, arrow, the blue arrow, which is the Z direction, which is forward is actually pointing towards the front of the gun. Um, so what we want to do is we want to rotate it where it, it the, what the, the direction of the blue arrow is going to be the direction that the shell actually goes in. So if I change this to 90, we see now that it's going to um, eject away, directly away from it. And then I'm going to kind of rotate it up a little bit. So I'm just making it negative 15. And then if we uh, play again, we'll see that the muzzle flash is right in front of the gun, and the shells are ejecting uh, right about where they would normally eject from. Uh, for the next piece, we're going to um, add the third, per the third person weapon aim script to our 
third person weapon. Uh, this is mainly a cosmetic feature but I'm going to go ahead and add it and show you how this works. So you're going to add your script component. It's called VP third person weapon aim. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to assign your hand object, which is the right hand that the weapon, uh, the weapons fold out is actually directly part of. So then if we hit play, so notice I have my scene view here, I've got my game view, and I do not have maximize on play. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to cycle to my weapon. Um, so I've got the scene view so I can see the player about from waist up. I'm going to click on this uh, keep aiming and I'm going to right click so I can a start aiming. Now first thing you're going to notice is the hand is all jumbled up over here. So I'm going to go ahead and make the adjust angle to 180 all the way around. That's a good base point to start from. And then what I'm going to do is you're going to kind of adjust your angle to where, you know, the weapon kind of gets to where it looks like it's in his hand. So for me, I'm making it uh, 160, 156. I'm going to change the Z angle to about 80. So you notice. It looks like he's holding it here. And it looks like he's holding it here. And the angle is is a pretty good angle. So it actually looks, you know, pretty realistic of how he's holding the weapon and such. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the component value the component. I'm going to pause the game and then in order to set these to the values that I found while I was editing I'm going to do paste component values and you'll see the values are, are um, pasted the way I want them. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to look at the actual um, recoil so for this I'm just going to look at just the game view So if we look at how the weapon fires, so you see it kind of goes up. Don't really like the way it fires. This is part of the reason why I added so many bullets. Um, so you can actually adjust this recoil X, Y, and Z factor. Um, for me, what I did is I changed it to um, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. Uh, and you can see it kind of it doesn't really jump around a whole lot um, now. I think one of the biggest ones for me was this, uh, the Z. So if you make it too high, the weapon actually jumps a whole lot. So that's why I put it to uh, 0.1. I'm going to go ahead and copy these comp the component, pause the game, and paste the component values. Um, before you're done, you're going to want to go ahead and just go ahead and re-enable all these and you will apply your changes. So now that we've set these weapons up you can copy this to all of your other characters. You're going to want to go through these steps for all of your different weapons. Um, so the UFPS character comes with four different weapons set up. You're going to want to add these uh, tweaks to and basically you could just copy this paste it on your um, character and you're just going to want to you know probably change a little bit of the rotation and the position a little bit to make sure it's uh, set up right but you'll have all these other settings as a as a great starting point and it'll make the process a whole lot easier thanks a lot